uh, where a lot of people are telling you that, you know, you, until you quit your 8 to 5 job and until you do entrepreneurship, uh, it looks like there's no way that you're going to become rich in this world. Uh, I beg to differ and uh, in a very, very simple, practical manner. Some of us would have to quit our jobs, our eight to five jobs, to live the dreams that we want to have. Others would have to stay there. So in my book, Intentional World 2.0, I try to talk about the different pathways that you, the reader, myself, and all of us could take. Some of us would have to stay dreamers, where we move from the mainstream jobs and then follow our passion in order to come up with creative and innovative ideas for people to consume them. But when the dreamers and the innovators do them, wouldn't they need managers? Wouldn't they need marketers? Wouldn't they need institutions? If everybody becomes an innovator and everybody becomes an entrepreneur, then who then will sit at those places? We move on to the next stage, which is the path that you would want to take. For, for some of you, you become what we call corporate climbers or intrapreneurs. So you don't quit your eight to five job, but you aim at becoming the top executive. So you become the CEO of Apple, no matter how much the rich man in your locality think he is, it may surprise you that he may not reach the salary of the CEO of Apple. So there are some intrapreneurs or corporate climbers who would end up even being richer than people who are doing entrepreneurship. What am I trying to tell you? What I'm trying to tell you is follow your path. Find what works for you. If it's eight to five that works for you, stick with it. If it is quitting the eight to five, quit it. Whatever option you choose, in my book, we talk about the difficulties associated with them. The eight to five will give you financial stability. It will give you security. But it may take longer time to reach your worthy place. The dreamers and the entrepreneurs, the musicians, the artists, the actors, it can take you faster, but your early days can be lonely and have a lot of problems. And then there are the connoisseurs, the virtuosos, the experts, and then there are the middle class and low class people who for some reason, for all the days of their lives, will never rise to corporate executive level. In this book, I use the example of the low class and the middle class, and I propose a millionaire pathway for all of the options available. The only difference is that some will reach there in five years, which is a faster lane. Some will reach there in 10 years, others in 40 years. But whatever your case is, I just want you to know that your definition of wealth is the first step that you need to take to your worthy place. And the second is that pathway that you choose. You may not have to quit your job or you would have to quit your job. You may have to move straight from school into entrepreneurship or straight from school into a job. You need to know that and all of this should be in a strategic plan that you have for your life and that starts by first identifying, discovering, and knowing exactly what you want to do and choosing which path best fits you. I think you wouldn't want to miss this and reading this would be good for you. My name is Evans, dear, and it's been a pleasure coming your way. I hope to hear from you with reviews after you've read my book. Thank you so much.